today we will learn how we can enter in rescue and emergency mode in RHEL 7 and troubleshoot the OS. In RHEL 6 we always use CD or DVD to boot the system in rescue mode and troubleshoot but in RHEL 7 that is not the case without using a CD or DVD we can enter in rescue and emergency mode. So there are two modes which is quite similar rescue and emergency mode. In rescue mode, uh, system try to mount all the available file system and will give you the maximum available OS with will starting some of the script and services. But in emergency mode, it will only uh, give you the root file system which is only in read only mode and will start the minimal services. So we'll see here how we can enter in rescue and emergency mode. So here is our um, virtual machine which is running on CentOS 7 and here is the console of RHEL 7 just now I rebooted it is coming up it will come in second one or two minutes one or two seconds so it came up now so first of all I'll log into this uh, machine through putty uh, the IP is uh, 104 and I'll increase the font as well here we go and we have a access to the system now let me log in through root so there is a two way to enter in rescue and emergency mode so in case your system is coming up in any cases still you want to go into rescue mode the straightforward command which you need to run to go into rescue mode is system ctl rescue this command will bring you into the uh, rescue mode as you can see in the left side of the screen system is going down and booted with the rescue mode it will ask for, for root password first of all once you will give the root password to the system you can see it mounted the boot file system and uh, root file system sj3 in this case, uh, this is on uh, in read write mode. You can uh, mount, uh, uh, I mean, you can, uh, if required, you can run FSTK on other file system. If required, you can, you can uh, edit the FSTF file and whatever the changes you want to make, you can make in the rescue mode. So let me, this is our rescue mode. Let me boot it again uh, on a normal uh, booting system with the multi user target. So as you can see our system came up, uh, let us uh, le log in again to the system, root red it. So we can check the uptime system is booted. So this is was uh, a rescue mode if you want to boot the system in the rescue mode. If, if you have access of the shell and if, if you can log into the system directly you can go to the rescue mode. Same way if you want to go into the emergency mode you need to uh, run the same, uh, you need to run system ctl emergency so this is the command uh, will uh, bring you to the system into emergency mode uh, we are not trying it here because again it will take uh, system to reboot and will take a longer time so this is the command you can note down to go into the emergency mode now i'm telling there is another way to move into the rescue mode in case your system is not giving you the uh, login screen or shell prompt if your system is coming in the kernel panic or any other uh, any other screen so uh, by entering or by adding some parameter in the initial grub screen you can enter into the rescue mode so let's go to uh, initial grub screen i'm rebooting the server Reboot. so we will go to the console uh, at the first screen when it will show you the kernel version uh, here we'll press the e now we'll come down and uh, and just above the init rd we will uh, add the parameter here uh, make sure you must remember the location of uh, where we need to add the parameter because uh, this is the important part here uh, we will enter the parameter in just before init rd we will enter system d dot unit equal to rescue dot target in case if you want to move the system to emergency mode 
same way you can use instead of rescue here you can use emergency since now we are booting the system with the rescue we will uh, make it as a rescue mode now you have to press control x to boot the system so our system is going in uh, rescue mode now as you can see we came to the rescue mode again we will enter the password here and we can see is mounted our root file system and boot so in case required uh, we can uh, edit uh, fs7 or whatever the changes we can make and we we see that here the uh, root file system is mounted in uh, read write mode in case of emergency it will mount the root file system in read only mode so still if you require to edit some fs tab or some other file uh, there is a command to mount the system in read write mode so you can use uh, this command uh, mount hyphen o remount comma rw slash that is a command which will make the file system in read write mode so if you are booting the system in emergency mode it, you can use this command if you want to make changes in some file because emergency mode will boot the system in read mode read only mode only so that's it for today uh, we have learned how we can enter in rescue and emergency mode by two way by by pressing the command or by entering the parameters in grub file initial grub screen thank you thank you for watching the video subscribe and like the video thank you very much